hit a spot that's really good for the person. So lots of stuff gets caught up in here. We've fixed mole back pain and, and all sorts of different things, not yeah. just osteitis pubis and um, groin strains. Like this does have a big effect on the whole function of the pelvis yeah. area, doesn't it? So yeah. lower back can be fixed by working in here as well. G'day guys, it's Ninja and Chase G'day. here. Now today we want to do something a little bit different. We want to showcase stuff on the front of the body, anterior body. So what we're going to do is we call it a footy rub or a chat. So for general maintenance, but what we want to do is show you all the money spots on the front side of the body. And I'm going to give myself 45 minutes um, to do a really good job on Jay. So this is probably not a standard kind of treatment that someone would come in and ask for, but we just wanted to showcase where all the money spots are and what it might look like to get a 45 minute treatment and get it done on the front side. Because a lot of times we just treat the back side of the body. So something different, um, but you can see, yeah. Well, how we go about it. Awesome. All right. Looking forward so, to it, Ninja. So yeah, first up, I'm just gonna do a little bit of work on Jace's neck. So I'm just gonna, no wax on here at the start. Just trying to, ooh. Connect in with ya and work on ooh. the scalenes and that SEM. What's that, sternocleido mesoid? Oh, <laughs> look out. That's a big mouthful that's for a Ninja. Big, yeah. Ninja's anatomy. Didn't even Ninja is a man either. No, just, Straight today, straight out, of the, <laughs> straight out of the blocks. So what we're doing here, the scalenes and these muscles here are quite thin. So we want to do um, like a superficial stretching kind of stroke on these kind of areas here. So what I've done, Jace can actually move his head a bit, but I'm moving it so it's passive movement for him. So he doesn't have to activate things and I can kind of stretch through here. Ooh. And what I can do, I can go over <laughs> the clavicle oh, there. That's good. And then oh. go into the pecs a little like that. Okay. Oh, wow. It's gonna be 45 minutes of fun, isn't it? Yeah, man. So no oil on here, so it's, <laughs> it's, a, good. it's a really fascial kind of <laughs> experience. You can really feel it stretchy. Yeah, and, yeah. And, um, yeah, doing the good work, eh? That's it. So, so what what I want to preface today with as well is, Jace, I want you to just tell me um, if things are too much, if, if I'm not connecting in with you well enough. Yeah. You know, change angles. You're you're the the master here. Okay. You you, you are the house. You are the temple. I'm just a plumber coming in oh. to try and unblock a few drains and pipes <laughs> and your gutters and stuff, and you direct me where those. Uh, those blockages are. All right, I'll, we'll do. I'll, I'll come in with me toolkit and <laughs> we can work together to, to get it done. Get it done. We don't want to damage the house. We don't want to damage your pipes or your dry gutters and drains. We want to clear them out in a way that's consensual. So we want to get permission. Oh. So, <laughs> yeah. One of the things I really oh. like to, to say is it's a negotiation oh. all the time. So when you negotiate things, you kind of push into something, how's that feel, is that all right? Can we, can we proceed? Do we need to back off? Do we need, oh. What do we need to do? So it's gotta be an agreement. That's what a negotiation is all about, getting agreement. And you do that through um, conversation, but also exploration and just to see how it feels. And your intuition knows what is good pain up against traumatic or something that's doing nothing. It's not connecting, it's not gonna, Give you any benefit at all <laughs> so we're just gonna do a bit of it's good. neck stuff oh like I there was so much in there <laughs> oh i thought this was gonna be 45 minutes of just uh, nice but yeah it'd be fun for you so we just see how we kind of don't um spend too much time be discerning that's part of the art of body work is to kind of know when to when to hold them <laughs> know when to fold know when to walk away so, uh, no, no one to stay. Yeah. Hold your hand. So. <laughs> it's good. So oh. That's it. oh, that fascial stretch. Yeah, there. it's a good fascial stretch. I can actually oh, feel like I can give it a bit it more. On. Look at this bit of <laughs> temple stuff there at the same time, just oh, for a bit of good. extra love. Feels good. Look at that. Pressure up there. Yeah, you can feel oh. that, that whole line would be stretching through. Yeah. Getting a bit of blood through there. The nerves would be able to feed through even better, their little signals can come through. So no wax on the hands, just 
Right. Working the tissue, yeah. Through here, like that. Stretching oh. out. Oh. Like that. Oh. <laughs> and we want to go over oh, that clavicle. Geez. Look at this. Oh. Bit extra on the old temple. Oh. Oh. Shirley. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shirley. That's good. You like that oh, one? He's on early. <laughs> oh. I'll do one more. I can maybe do a knuckle like that. Oh, yeah, that feels dig good. dig in underneath our occiput. Oh, oh what's that? That's <laughs> Leo. I'm, ta I'm tapping a Leo. Oh. And work through there like that. Oh, that feels good. Feels yeah. good, huh? It does. Oh. Uh, oh. Wow. Oh. There we go. So oh. Stuck there oh, a little bit. Then we'll work through it. Yeah, oh. over those bones. All right, oh. so now I'm going to do a bit of chest. Right. So, get the mic out of the way. Yeah, you're right. Is the what? Mike Whitney. Mike Whitney. <laughs> <laughs> George. <laughs> George Lapel. <laughs> Poor bloke just died recently. But can't say too much about him. No, we'll keep that in. Uh... <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is tune in and work with the palm for a start. On the chest so with the chest there's two lines you can do one through towards that nipple another one along the clavicle so I'll do both of those just to showcase it and then we can kind of do a bit of forearm work or thumb whatever we kind of felt like that oh, it gets real stretchy there so what I can do I can soften it by putting the hand up but then when we lower it down it really cranks on. yeah oh. exaggerates it makes it more intense <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be 45 minutes of me pulling faces. <laughs> you're gonna, you'll feel good after this oh, one. Well. You feel good sprint, now. Sprinting well today. Yeah. Oh. 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 So, well, oh. And then I can kind of swap oh, over good. hands because I want that pizzy form to go along there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dig in to the shoulder like that. I'm gonna go along a different line. Oh, so I can move oh, the arm around a little. Oh, yes. Move my body, I can lunge, really push in. So I'm driving in through my, my body, I'm gonna go along that clavicle there, and but pushing really the heel of hand right through that chest to try and stretch it out. Yep. Like that. And then I can kind of go along that line there. Down the sternum. Down oh. the sternum. <laughs> like that. Oh, yes. That's what it needs. Yeah, weave in. See, I'm pulling the arm up a bit more now. Like that. Right in along that sternum. Those nooks and crannies where the ribs are, joining in. Bit of fascia can get caught in there. <laughs> oh, oh, Builds up <laughs> calcifications. And... Like that. Very good. Very bloody good. Yeah. So, yeah, all the way through. <laughs> Around there. Oh. One of my favourite moves is just getting in here. Really simple move, but it can be <gasps> hot. It has a hot. lot of power. It's hot, hot, <laughs> hot, hot, hot. The um, old bicep tendon oh, can got just be carry. Yeah, it can be the the bane of a lot of suffering. <laughs> <laughs> it um, just so cemented in there and down in the bottom of the bicep too. It can cause a lot of problems. So. Uh, and it's a very easy thing to, to treat. Mm. So you just got to pin the top up here and then oh. wait on it, really. And <laughs> it's so you can, good. So you can wait on here for oh, ages. Oh, you could. Spend 45 <laughs> minutes sitting there, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. So you can just sort of twist his arm around a bit just to really try and hook in. Yeah, it's better there now. Yeah, we're through. Yeah, through the, well, I'd say the worst of it, but it might there be more, a bit more. There might be some more. A bit coming up, maybe. Yeah, there. Oh. I felt that one. Yeah, just flick. flip over it. See, when you feel them, you've got to really tune in to what's underneath your hands. You can feel there's a good tendon under there, and when I move, I can feel it rolling under. So I don't want to let that flip out. That's what I call That big flick, too. Yeah, it's not good art. You know, you're kind of um, flicking out. You've got to be able to tune in and read when that's going to happen and then work out how to negotiate it, how to get an agreement. So you kind of do it with um, grace. 
Oh. Poise, those kind of things. So you're not just flicking it and oh, it's just destroying those little it. Subtle angle changes you have in there. Mm. It goes from nothing to, yeah, hitting something that's gold. Yeah. So we can just do a little bit through here. So the. What's this? Issue or tuberosity? Deltoid tuberosity? <laughs> Deltoid tuberosity. Not issue? <laughs> nah, issue. That's hammy, is it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, fuck. Yes. On. <laughs> Just trying to test you guys out, see if you know your bloody anatomy. That's right. You want to learn from this guy? Yeah. How can they do it, Ninja? Just, uh, yeah, do the course. Practitioner yeah. online mentorship. Bloody, that'd be a really good idea if you want to really learn and, and get mentored along the way. So all our secrets are given in the course. So how this... The glue of how it all works, our philosophy, it's all kind of in there and that's the glue for the whole course. So, got to learn our secrets first up and then you'll... Get the wisdom of Ninja. Yeah, know how wisdom, to deliver. Wisdom, philosophy, yeah. what else do you go into? Yeah. A bit of metaphysical stuff, Yeah. whatever. Yeah, so the, the best thing about the course I think is, um, you know, you'll get 60 hours of content that you can go and look at any time you want so you can refresh and look at my posture when I'm doing it and all the talk we do. but. What I feel is the best thing is the mentorship, the coaching, so the webinars along the way. So you can ask us questions, you can get us to demonstrate, we'll um, give you the updated software because like um, things can adapt and evolve as um, time goes on as well. So, um, and you can just get our, our gold about how we communicate and how we traverse through different treatment kind of situations and yeah, like Jace was saying, the metaphysics, the philosophy, the how conversation can really enhance treatment. Because we're humans. We're not robots, we're not cars. We actually have emotions and stress and we've got a life with all different facets of life. And sometimes somebody that's a perceived expert that is, um, has got a really narrow vision and they'll just look at a shoulder, like they're looking here, and they'll just know all the anatomy of the shoulder, but they won't even ask about the person. You know, and the, the person might be going, their mum might have just died or they're going through a divorce or a bankruptcy or a, you know, whatever it is. And it might be stress related and kind of once that stress is, um, you know, talked about mm. and, and things out like that. Open. Yeah, that this can kind of resolve itself. You know, you don't have to cut in to the body perhaps. They might, you know, knife happy. Oh, that's good. And, um, yeah, so you, the conversation is one thing that I really rate highly. If you can do it, um, do it well. Yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah. So you've got to be able to um, read the play is a really important thing. So you don't want to... Overstep. <laughs> overstep the mark. <laughs> you've got to get that trust first, yeah, don't you? Yeah. Which is also what you, you learn through the men mentorship and, yeah, how to build trust with clients and customers and... yeah. Yeah, communication is such an important thing in life, isn't it? And yeah, and, and it's really different when you're, you know, physically present. You're you're one on one with somebody. It's, it can be a real bubble, a, a safe haven for people to um, to come into. So um, so yeah, you want to make sure that you're making the most of that and you give yourself the best chance of helping somebody, giving the person a, a chance to delve deeper into what the stress is is about so yeah nobody wants to you know be vulnerable in somebody in front of somebody they don't trust or they don't think is competent so we try to you know help people be really competent with their hands-on skills and but also with their communication skills because uh, yeah body work can go deeper into the the psyche into the stress of the person and yeah, you can really help them out on a much deeper level and it can be a lot more long lasting as well because it's um you're getting to the bottom of things you're getting to the root cause so yeah but the body work is the is the key is the key it's the <laughs> if you don't have that you don't have an in no yeah. you can't you can't do any other stuff if you don't have the body work skills yeah yeah like jay said it's your in yeah it's safe to come get a treatment for most people, you know, and, and people that kind of really resonate with um, the slow treatment when they're watching it on video, they'll, you know, something inside them knows that this is for them and it'll, it's, it'll work because it, you know, it does resonate with them and they, oh. they're kind of, they're probably ready to go through the, 
the process. The process, because there is, it isn't kind of easy, you know. It, you know, when Jace is going through this right now, it's it's not easy. It's good though. Yeah. You know it's good. Yeah. Just got to take a few breaths and let it happen. Yeah. You'd be better for it after, you know, so. Oh. So yeah, just feeling little oh. little bits along the way. Oh, oh there we go. There's oh. a bit there, yeah. Little nugget. <laughs> Leo's loving it behind the camera. Oh. So just pushing through there a bit. Go into those notches. You can kind of move his arm around. So get into those little nooks and crannies. Mobilise the ribs a little. Help him breathe a bit better. And what I might do on this side, just for something a little bit different, I might do an armpit release. So we didn't do it on the other side, but that might be the way it is with the treatment because sometimes you, you're good here and here, say. So we kind of mix it up and tailor, tailor the treatment. So we want to get right into the armpit here. So I'm going to use my left hand here and I can kind of point my fingers out that way a little, like to hit the spots that are drawn into the back of the arm. Sort of. Yeah. So you just hit those spots, wait on them, wait for them to, to melt. And then I can change it around to kind of go push into the ribs and muscles that are like subscap and peck minor. peck minor, these little ones that can be the key to the shoulder function. Got to go mining for peck minor, don't you? Yeah, Mitch? mining. You like it, Jace? There you it's go. You'll never, never forget that one, will you? No, mate. <laughs> well, I love how the, the tension gets trapped in the trap. <laughs> I think that's pretty, pretty interesting. It's a trap. Uh, it's a trap. <laughs> Play on uh, words. They they were smart. These dudes that were inventing <laughs> the, the names of these muscles oh. back in the day. They knew what they were doing. You reckon? Yeah. Let's do a little bit of diaphragm. All right. Let's let's see how we go. Yeah. So I like. Yeah. See on the outward breath, you can kind of go in. On the inward breath, they kind of push you out. So you kind of just gotta not fight that. So it's like the get in the rhythm of the person's breath. I can feel just there. Normally there's not too much there, but sometimes there can be, but mostly it's more. Yeah, into into closer this, to the abs, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, up in under here. You can feel really distinct solid parts that are stuck under there and yeah. But you want to just keep on communicating and just asking the person how it feels and. Keys to take sort of shorter breaths like you still want to inhale, but if you take too deep a breath, sometimes it's a bit too intense on the table. So you just need to control that breath so that you can let it happen, but not kick him back out. Like that. Oh. So while I'm here, I can do a bit of solace, so we can kind of. Go in under, so with the breath again, go in, you just stay there for a bit, and then on the next breath I'll come out, and then I'll try and get under and even deeper. Oh. And what I'll get Jace to do is just lift your knee just a couple of centimetres, not much, and then I'll try and tune oh. in to where that solus is, because the first 10 degrees, I think it is, that's where the, the solus iliacus so kind of do their thing. So. Just moving I can, the knee there, you should feel it. Yeah, I can tune into where that thing is, oh. that, that iliacus. Oh, no, not iliacus, so iliosolus there. Oh. So I can push into there, I can feel it. So it's joined in um, off the spine. So the front of your spine, if you could visualise that, that's the muscle we're trying to get into that goes into the hip. So we're trying to work that and release it off. So this can really help with a lot of things, even digestion and yep. um, back yeah, pain, back hip pain. pain. Yeah, so much can be related to this muscle, but it's, it's forgotten about, it's hidden, it's underneath all your, your, your organs and your guts and stuff. That's so, right. So yeah, you can forget, forget about it. So while I'm here, I'll just continue on this side. See a few claw marks there. Yeah. Even though my fingernails are short, just cut them yesterday, I think. So. There. It's another tip, you've got to keep the fingernails no, short. Gotta trim the claws, bro. Trim, trim the claws. Oh, that's good. Oh. 
Like that. And so you can kind of do little things oh. where you can oh. move their leg around oh. a little bit. You can kind of <laughs> just, if you want it to be there. passive, yeah. you can kind of just lift oh. it a little bit. Get a bit of a referral into the quad. Yeah, you can roll it around those little bits like oh. that. Like that, so you can kind of go down that little bit further as well. And like another one, you can do instead of just going under there, you can come out and then under, mm. and that can hit a big, bigger portion Whoa. of it. Like that, all right. So, I'm just rocking the table, just trying to get it to ease back, ease off, like that. So on this side, I might do something a little bit different. I might do just a little bit of ribs. Yeah. Okay, so find where the, the ribs are, and then I'm going to go in between the ribs. Say somebody might have had a, a blow in footy, you know, five weeks ago, and they're ready to have some treatment. Oh. So, um, or having some breathing difficulties, that ribs aren't kind of expanding as well as they could on That's this the side. That's the sufferers. It's so, good for. Yeah, so you can actually... One treat, one good slow treatment between the ribs can be the thing that changes everything. Can clear that calcified bit of tissue out and get the, the breathing back to, to full function again. All right. So in there, I'm just kind of tracing the lines of the ribs. So I'm like I'm in a, a trough there and just following it through. It's also good for like getting you to expand your rib cage because I can consciously push my ribs out into ninja pressure, which you might be a shallow breather, so it actually can teach you to open the ribs up. So yeah, if you're someone that can't expand through the ribs or you feel like you can't take deep breath, while someone's treating this, it can be good feedback to try and direct your air to that one side. I might do one more of those. Oh, there we go. Bit of something there, mm. so you just hold that spot. Wait. Oh, a bit of a sticky point. Yeah. Yeah, you feel just following the lines where that those ribs are going, and just feel I'm in that groove, clearing out mm. that gutter. Yep. Allow the expansion and contraction to to occur more freely. Oh, like that. Yeah, very good. Oh, very good. All right, so we might skip the sails on this side and we'll go to top TFL. of your fucking leg. <laughs> TFL. <laughs> TFL. Another one you won't forget. Yeah, it's an easy way to remember it. Oh. As long as you know where your leg is <laughs> and the top <laughs> of it, it. is, <laughs> you'll be right. Oh. So I can, yeah, Jace is holding me a bit. So I like to go in sideways when they're on their back. I kind of feel like I can get a good purchase on it. There is a few different ways you can do TFL. There's four different ways I can think of right now. So you can do it while they're on their stomach, on their back, on their side, but also seated and dynamic or yeah. even lunging, you know. So. There's so many ways you can do it. We're just going to show you the, you know, this way today because, um, yeah, they're in for a 45-minute session and we're just trying to give everything a bit of a, a tune-up, a bit of a service and uh, make sure it's all right. Pick up on things before they Ooh. become an injury or a dysfunction and bring awareness to the person. Down that down, way. Down that way. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's one of the good things about getting regular treatment. You get so much more awareness about how your body is, is performing. Because um, when you're relaxed, when you're lying down, your muscles don't need to activate. They don't need to be solid, do they? They can yeah. relax. So that's a key thing for us to kind of remember is like, things should be squishy when, we're, when they're relaxed. You know, they should squish and they should be able to stretch. So um, if they're not, when you relax, there's a, it's a sign there that there's a dysfunction and there's stress and there's, there's something up. going on yeah. in there. So we can um, come in and clear it out. Clear it out for them. Unplumb it. Unplumb it, unplumb it. <laughs> so we might go into a spot just in here. Oh, this will be good. 
Just get that towel. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that one. So I've often people will say, yeah, I've got fucking pain just in here, mate. What can you do? <laughs> what can you do? We, oh, um, we can oh, stick an elbow oh, in there, mate. Oh. So, so just gently for a start. Good. She's uh, got a few glands and things in here as well that we don't want to uh, damage. So that's why we go in slow so the body can um, get those things out of the road. The body. The body. Yeah. The body. It's all right. If I said you got a beautiful body, would yeah. you hold it against me? <laughs> oh. 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 Just feels like that hip joint's opening up at the front here. Yeah. So all these spots where there's lots of tendons, mm. they're kind of key spots in the body where things can clog up and yeah. give you give you drama. So. We're not scared to go into these spots, you know. Yeah. So now I might just do the old, our famous groin. Groin. So with this, yeah, we'll see how we go for a start. See if you need to adjust anything. <laughs> yeah. If you don't need to adjust anything, then we just go forward. But um, yeah, it's just important that you just don't go and slam in here for a start. Yeah. You've got to go in slow, just sort of place your elbow underneath that gracilis, so you're really trying to feel for those bony landmarks where the pubic bone and the gracilis meet, and then uh, just hold it. And then I kind of just sort of tune in. Once I feel like everything's starting to relax and they're yeah. starting to kind of um, gain some trust, they're comfortable, then you can start to drive in. Mm -hmm. So you, off that back foot, you really drive through and then try to change some angles to hook up to hit a spot that's really good for the person. So lots of stuff gets caught up in here. We've fixed lower back pain and, and all sorts of different things, not yeah. just osteitis pubis and um, groin strains. Like this does have a big effect on the whole function of the pelvis yeah. area, doesn't it? So yeah. lower back can be fixed by working in here as well. So it is a really important part of the body. So I'm just gonna work it, give it a bit of love, change some angles, and then I'm gonna come out, and I'm gonna come around here, Oh, you know, yeah. go a different angle on it. Oh, that one's got a bit more. That's yeah, already got a bit there. more. <laughs> yeah, no, that's so, good. Yeah, yeah, in there. Yeah. So I've, I've got good control. I've got, um, Jace's knee is really supported here. I can control things like that, and I can drive my pressure, I can change, how sharp it is a little Ooh, bit too, just by doing is. that. Oh yeah, there we yeah. go. Oh, yeah. it took him some time, but he got there. Yeah. <laughs> so we, oh. we just want to hit the spots. That's the most important thing. Right, now yeah, I'm used to it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh. Hell got the time. We're so going all right. We've so got go. 20 minutes. So we're going to do a bit of knee. So I'm not even going to worry about flushing the quad. No. Nah. Happy with, happy with it? I'm happy with that quad. I it's got heaps of <laughs> Moving all right. It, let's, uh, let's go for the, the bits that could be giving you a bit of drama. You know, a bit of knee. So I'm going Don't to get work. much work on the knee, do they, then? Just no. It's pretty, pretty rare sort of thing to treat yeah. actually on the knee, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, we, we found that there's so many different little nooks and crannies around the knee that you can, you know, you can really be effective. So the patella tendon, here can have a bit of gravel on it. Oh, <laughs> few can't. calcifications, you know, if anyone's got a bit of tendinopathy with their um, patella tendon, they'll actually enjoy pressure onto it. It just yeah. feels good, you know, to have pressure. And, I'm, and the thing too, I'm pulling down with this opposite hand and I'm pushing up to create that tension. So I really want to stretch it. So I'm not directly down into it like that. Or I'm actually pulling it away from where it's attached into this, that bone Ooh. there just to get that, that purchase on it and trying to, to melt down, file down Ooh. as much as possible. Bit of referral into the back of the knee there. Yeah, so yeah, it's good awareness, you know. Straight you might, into it. We might um, check out what's going on in the back of the knee, subsequent sessions, or Jace can put a ball in the back of his knee and do a bit of popliteus work. Or popliteus, all absolutely. The tops of the, the calf, all those tenons that are in there, you can hit it a cross ball in behind the knee and pull your your foot to your to your butt. 
type of thing. This sort of thing. Yeah, and that'll um, really, you know, can really engage in the spot that you want. Ooh. So you might just do a little bit through the side of the knee, like that. Just clear through any spots. Like that. That's a bit more flushing. There can be stuff that's triggering in there that gives pain in the side of the knee for some people. We actually work on the knee like this. So there's the bones are joining together here. So we can actually work there like that. Quite often people have a pain in these sort of spots and just pinning just here, some pressure. You might even want to move around a bit and kind of wiggle in, weave into the spots to help you hit the spot that they need. We can work along here. These strappy muscles, Satoris, is it? Yep. And so you can kind of VMO. VMO. Sort of where all the adductors come down as well. Oh. But yeah, Ooh. there's often a spot just about here. Yeah, there. That's fire. Triggering. There's some firing off, <laughs> some little flickering just there. <laughs> <laughs> little flickering. Yeah. Oh. 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 So what I might do now is just do some work on the tib ant. So I want that pizzy form there to, to hit in there, so then I can run that along that, oh. that line there, oh. like that. But the palm of my hand can really work through this whole thing and just flatten it out. This is another underrated area. Like everyone yeah. gets their cars treated, but I reckon there's yeah. a fair bit going on in there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but yeah. I find a lot of people's tip ants if you actually treat into them. <sighs> yeah. So he's going to do one good stroke. One good one. It's yeah, heavy. one good one beats 100 shit runs. Oh! Jesus Christ. Yeah. So I'm just sort of working in to where those tendons are joining onto the bone there, but also trying to flatten out these tendons. Lots of fascia oh. through here as well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that. Oh, he's putting into it. Yeah, getting it done, getting it working done. through. Oh. So it's going to be quicker now, so it's probably the pressure's off. Smaller muscles as well. And I'm just going to go over the ankle, oh. like that. So I can grab the foot at this stage, over the ankle, like that. And I can work over on top of the foot a bit too. Oh. So all that fascial line there that may have been Bit bundled up, work it, clear it out, good stretch, like that. So yeah, not much wax on, so just the, the stroke won't move that fast. Oh. Oh. And pull out. Oh. So I might just do a little bit of ankle money spot. Just normally do it in a seated or standing, lunging. Kind of vision, but I can do some passive work with his foot here, get him to move so he doesn't have to activate muscles. And I can work right into that spot there that gives a lot of people drama. And they don't even know it gives them drama, but it's a real money spot. So you can work into that a bit. But also another little money spot is this one here. <laughs> so just with a finger is often enough. Yeah, you feeling that? Yeah, that's feeling enough that. It? So just, but it just does, enough to get some stuff moving so i'm just going to do that for a little bit especially if the people wear narrow shoes and yeah tight fitting pointed shoes yeah this so spot here will be gold so then i can go like that and try and mobilize that foot a bit pull on the toes ridiculous <laughs> 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 bit of crack there that was good so you can mobilize it you can twist a bit try and get it to open up open up a bit like that so really grippy and i'm doing stuff underneath the foot as well with my fingertips but you kind of get that bit leo see that so opening up but that's kind of in digging into that plantar fascia there as well yeah all right we'll move on so we go to the the left hip, so we'll do, I might do this again, a bit here, so yeah, in there, 
Jace has guided me. This one's actually, you can tell just straight up, it's tighter on this tighter. one. Tighter, yeah. yeah. Just it's more of a tightrope. Oh. Know. Didn't feel like I could find that slot I found on the other side as easy. <laughs> Getting pushed up. Yeah, I'm pushing you off, man. I'm flying, grabbing you on the sled. <laughs> Stop you from going. Oh. oh, that one's good. Yep. We love TFL, don't we? TFL, it's a good one. Oh. I never had any problems in here. Really? Nah, not, I don't sit much, so I think yeah. that's the thing. Um, but one thing I do, though, is I remember the first time that someone ever jammed their elbow into my chest. <laughs> you remember it, it was like yeah. 25 years ago and it's like, boom, I remember how much <laughs> that fucking hurts. <laughs> it's like, that is ridiculous. Stop what you're doing right now. You're killing me. <laughs> That's why I laugh when I'm doing it to people. They're like, yeah. why are you laughing? Because like, I know if you would, if I was getting this, yeah. I'd be doing the same yeah, thing you are. Like, I'd be screaming, I'd be kicking, I'd be... Yeah. It's like you get paralyzed or something like mm. that. Like if you get a spot that is, sometimes just goes straight into your foot, ankle. Your shin and ankle just feel like, like it's on fire. Yeah, it's like, it is ridiculous, so. But it's good, it's yeah. good. Don't be scared from getting it. Yeah, but it's good after. <laughs> At the time, it's, it's uh, yeah, oh. quite challenging. But yeah, we know it's, it's, uh, it's worth it. So I'm just gonna get into oh. some spots where a lot of tendons and that are crossing over. So while I'm here, I might do a bit of quad on this side, just to mix it up. Oh. Show them a bit of technique, so. Here we go, we'll give you a bit of exposure. Show me good undie tan, what do you reckon? Can you rub that off then? Yep. Yeah. You don't fucking tan in the nude, Jace. No. Come on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you know the benefits. <laughs> oh. 200% extra testosterone. Oh, oh, oh. Golly gosh. Holy gosh. This is only the broad one. Yeah. This is a flush. Oh, 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 there's a couple of nuggets. One good flush and yeah, you're done. You reckon? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Better down the bottom half. Good. So we can kind of go, oh, we'll I'm do glad a, you did one that. we'll kind of catch a bit of that um, IT, IT band as well. So IT band, you don't have to just be side lying to catch it. You can catch it while people are on their stomach or on their back. Um, so, yeah, it can be effective. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's struggling there a bit. So with this, yeah, you can change up just how intense it is as well by turning your arm around a bit. Or when I go like that, that blade of my arm just really digs in. Catches it, yeah. Yeah, so I'm kind of a bit more, oh, more fleshy. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> yeah, but I really want to stretch it. That's the key thing to think about is stretching it out and getting some some blood into it. And um, yeah, sometimes it can be just that bit bit too tight. We need our IT band to be really strong, but um, yeah, we need it to be functional as well. So it needs to be able to move with our body, not just be cementing there. Yeah, you don't want it fused to the quad. Yeah. Which is what a lot of people have. It just feels like there's no, no gap in there, it's just all cement. Yeah. It's all oh, a bit in there. Oh, yep. yep. Yeah, pushing through. So we can go, might go over oh, the knee on this one. Yeah, there's a good spot there. This one will go over the knee and, and we won't need to do the knee work we did on the other side. We might yeah, do something that. different. Yeah. Push through. And what I can do here, I can keep on going, mate. Oh, keep yeah. on going, he says. Oh, oh, oh. So we can catch the... I'll sit up for this. The perineals. <laughs> catch a bit of perineal. I don't have any wax either, so it's um, going to be slow going. She's going to be this hairy. Forest. It's, oh, it's actually not too bad. Jace refuses to trim the hairs on the legs. He yeah, says, I haven't bought into that shit yet. Nah, it's not manly. Not manly shaving the legs. Yeah. Isn't that right? He's a real man's man, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying I need to... <laughs> nah. What, do you reckon I need to trim him up, do you? Nah, you do what you want, mate. I'm... 
It'll show. I, I think they're giving me a bit of extra colour though. Yeah. Like if I shave them, I'll be too. I'll be even more pasty. Yeah. I just. I'd be. Int- I'd be curious to see it, what you look like with um the, the hairs shaved though. Cause you'd be <laughs> fucking ripped to shreds. <laughs> so we'd see your definition even more. I reckon. So. Oh, there's not much in the calves though. Is it? The calves. The baby cows. Baby cows. Yeah. You're going pretty well for time here, Ninja. You're going, you timed it all right. Thing of 40 now. Yeah, so we've got five minutes. That's good. I can do whatever we feel like. I was going to show you just a few different little things in that five minutes. So, oh. Stay tuned. Yeah. If you made so it this now, one's going keep all watching. Through, all through the foot. Oh. Look at that. That'll feel good, I reckon. Oh, it will feel good. Oh, little. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. So what I might do on this side, I might give it a bit of elbow. I don't think I did elbow on the, other, on the knee. No, I did, just, just do thumbs. the thumbs. Yeah, so you just elbow can be really therapeutic. So I can kind of broaden it so it's pretty broad through here with that connection. Or you can kind of pinpoint a spot like there with the, the point of the elbow and just hit where that person needs it. Like that. It shifts a bit more to the outside of it. Yeah, around there, I reckon. Yep. Just like that. Oh, yep. So I can push That's up. The one. So I can Angle pin that for a yeah, bit. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah, what I'd be thinking of doing here, I'm just going to pin that for a bit. But then what oh. I'm going to do in this particular one, I'm going to go over yeah. onto the kneecap. Oh, it's which even is, better. Which is something <laughs> that. Um, it feel it's some something different the feeling of someone working on your kneecap and stretching mm. it feels like it's gonna pop off or something. <laughs> but, but um yeah It, it never has. Never has yet. It yeah. never has. But there can be some shit that's on top of that kneecap that you can kind of work and it just yeah, somehow it starts to get things to heal and flow oh. and function again. So I'm actually on his kneecap now. How's that feel? Is it all right? It feels alright. Yeah. It doesn't feel any different yeah. to the so yeah, it's not a one of those spots that you'd think I'll oh, massage on top of the kneecap, but yeah, that's body work is different. Kind of you've got to go wherever the the tension is, where the problems originate from, and the ripple on effects clear it out, and then uh, the body will heal itself. It'll come back. Just like gardening, you know, you, sometimes you, <laughs> just, you give things a real good cut back, don't you? It, yeah. you think you've, oh no, cut them right back. That and... tree's not going to come back, and then it <laughs> just flourishes, doesn't it? That's right. Yeah. Oh, feels good. Yeah. Oh, all right. And so this one, I might do um, some work along that shin. So just with the this part of my hand here, I'm going to go along his that bone there. So I'm going to go underneath the ankle for a start. Hook under there, and then we're just gonna traverse. Thanks to Aaron for that word. Traverse. Traverse. He loves using his. Does he? Traverse. Linguistic skills. Linguist. That no, not linguistic. come out. Linguistics is. Uh, oh no, here. Is right. that right? Yeah. I don't know. Is it Leo? What do you reckon? He's a bloody cunning linguist. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, unlike Ninja. No, I'm not very uh, cunning at all. I'm just very. <laughs> <laughs> I can't spit out my words. It's a good thing I'm good at body work, isn't it? We had to be speaking for a living. He's good at body work and talking. And that's if I spec for a living, I'd be fucked. <laughs> if I spec for a living, I'd be spitting. <laughs> oh, the shin's How's good. That? The shin, you like that? So with oh. this, I can catch a bit of the. Chloe's <laughs> sitting up. I'm, I'm catching. I didn't a bit even of know the, there was anything in there. Yeah, uh, a bit of the little tendons and muscles that are joining in underneath that shin bone and oh. catching them and giving them some love. Yeah. Gets a bit of blood in there. Gets a bit of blood. Oh, feels good though. Although I've carried on a bit in this session, it feels yeah. bloody good. I'm relaxed yeah. now. Yeah. It's all, go and have a nap. Yeah. But you're Privileged man to be able to <laughs> receive this work. Yeah, and have absolutely. The, have it in your bank, in the tank. In the tank, in the in, bank. In the bank, you like it? It's good. Come and get some. <laughs> or, even better, learn how to do it yourself. Yeah. Fix your mates. <laughs> That's it. We'll do a little bit of ankle on you. 
How's our time? We've got a minute to go. A minute, I'm going to do time you sign off. a quick one of them. Now, 45 minutes of treatment. So let's do a bit on this big toe, say. Ooh. So anywhere. Oh, there's a bit on that toe too. Yeah, you so picked the big toe that's got a bunion yeah, on it. Yeah, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we're up again. Hundred <laughs> percent. Oh. So yeah, it might be oh, just a spot oh, that they've oh, they know I've been identified in the past, or they've told you about in the oh, the consultation. Oh, oh, <laughs> and you just give it a bit of love. So a lot of times we do this kind of one um, when they're seated or lunging, so you can kind of get the the toe to move in while we're working on it. But yeah, if you just want to give it a bit of maintenance, which is the, the whole intention of this session, was sort of look at all the money spots, explore them, uh, give them a bit of maintenance, a bit of love, get a flow, and kind of get awareness about how things are traveling. So Jace has got a lot more awareness of where all the different spots in his body are stuck and uh, where he can perhaps do some self-treatment or just mobilize himself with movement so yeah it's good it's good so yeah oh. so yeah there's uh a uh, something you won't see you won't <laughs> see good. that often you probably won't ever see again <laughs> how's his finish good good english good yeah linguistics. yeah good thing we're good at body work because if you're here for being able to speak eloquently you're in the wrong place. <laughs> if you want body work, you're in the right place, because that's what we know. So, yeah, if you want to learn this stuff, if you want to be mentored by Aaron and myself, learn how to, you know, help people. I think that's the most important thing to remember. We can change lives. Just two people, two humans getting together with a common objective, intention, uh, you can work it out. And they, like we said, you know, the your baseline thing is your skills with your body work, knowing how to, where to explore, how to explore, how to be effective, but the communication is the thing that glues it all together as well. So if you can really get along with your person, you can dive deeper into things. You can get to the bottom of things where um, other people might not be able to do it because they will be blind to something that might be underlying, you know, in somebody's subconscious from their, their childhood or what they're going through currently might be the real stressor that they need to chat about and get help with and then the, the treatment can complement and help them get through it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Really appreciate everyone's support that does watch us out yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. Get it done. Done.